Hello Kingfisher class, I am really looking forward to welcoming you all in September and meeting you all properly. But seeing as I can't meet you just yet, I thought I would make a video to introduce myself and to answer some of the questions that I know you have written for me. So my name is Miss Bedsa. I've written it just behind me just to help you remember. So you can remember my name by remembering the bed bit at the beginning and then the sir bit and when you put them together it makes Miss Bedsa. And I'm really, really excited to be your teacher next year. So, some things about me. My favourite thing to do when I'm not teaching in the classroom is to read. I love reading stories. Some of my favourite stories are the Harry Potter books. But as well as the Harry Potter books, I really like books written by Julia Donaldson. So, some of my favourites are Stick Man, and I like The Gruffalo, and I like The Highway Rat. You might have read some of those. And another one of my favourite authors is Roald Dahl, and you might have read some of his books before. And a really good one by Roald Dahl is this one here, it's called The Enormous Crocodile. So if you've not read this one before, I would recommend it, it's a really good one. It's all about a sneaky crocodile who has some plans to um, eat some children, but he doesn't manage to eat them, don't worry. So as well as reading, I can tell you about some of my favourite things. So my favourite colour is yellow because it reminds me of sunshine and daffodils and really happy things like that. And my favourite animal is a dog. I've always liked dogs ever since I was really little. I think they're my favourite animal because they can be really playful and really friendly and they're always pleased to see you. I think that's why I like them. So I know that you have got some questions for me. So what I'm going to do is I've got five questions and I'm going to answer those ones now. So the first question was, will we be learning about animals in year two? And that's a good question. And the answer is yes, we will be learning about animals. So in year two, we learn about animals and we learn about their habitats. So we learn about the, their homes really, the places where they live and we learn about how they survive in their habitat. So, how they're adapted, how they find their food, things like that. And as part of that learning, we also learn about pets. So I'm really lo looking forward to finding out about some of your pets if you've got a pet at home. And if you do, it would be brilliant if you could bring in some photos or bring in some information when we do our animals topic in science so that I can hear all about your pets at home. So the next question I'm going to answer is a question that says, can we do lots of science? And we can do lots of science. So in year two, we will have learning about animals, as I've just mentioned in science. We'll also learn about plants and how they grow. We will also learn about materials, so what things are made of and um, how materials bend and stretch and melt and things like that. We'll also use outside, so we'll go outside and um, explore that to help us with our science. And we will do lots of experiments because experiments help us find out new information. The third question is, do you have a pet? So, I don't have a pet at the moment. When I was a little girl, I did used to have a dog called Chip, and he was a, quite a small black dog with white paws and some patches of brown on him. So I don't have a pet at the moment, but I do have someone I'd like you to meet. And he, he's sort of like a pet, and he usually comes to school with me. So he'll be able to come to school and meet us in the Kingfisher class. And I'll just show you him. Get him ready. Here he is. He's called Ralph. And I like having Ralph in the classroom because sometimes Ralph helps us with our learning. And Ralph can be a bit silly sometimes. So sometimes we need to help him with his learning and teach him some new things. So this is Ralph and he can join us next year. The next question is, what are we going to learn about? Good question. I don't think I've got time to tell you all the things we're going to learn about in this video, but I'll tell you about a few of them. So we are going to have a topic called castles. And when we have our castles topic, we get to make our own castles as well. We are also going to learn about the Great Fire of London, uh, which is a fire that happened a long time ago. And as well as that, we're going to build our own Tudor houses, which are the houses that would be around, would have been around during the time of the Great Fire of London. We've also got a topic about islands that I think you're going to enjoy. And then we'll still do lots of maths with work as well, so we'll get even better with our numbers. And we'll do some learning based on the school values. So all of the school values that you've got at Gorse Ride, we'll carry on doing some learning about those as well. 
The last question is, will we learn about space? Which is another good question. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a space topic in year two, but we still like to hear about any extra learning you're doing at home. So if you're interested in space or any other topics like that and you want to do some research and, and bring it in to show us and tell us what you know about space, that would be great because it's really great to hear about the learning you've been doing at home as well. Okay, so before I go, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to read you a story. Now, Mrs. Hodgson told me that when we all come back to school in September, the value that we're going to be thinking about is belonging. So, we're going to be thinking about how we belong. So, you might um, already belong to a club, perhaps. So, you might belong to a football club, you might belong to rainbows or beavers, you also belong to a family, and you also all belong to Gorse Road School. And the story I have got for you today is called, let me just get it ready for you, it's called Oliver and Patch. It's about this little boy called Oliver and in the story Oliver moves somewhere new so he moves to a big new city and to start with Oliver doesn't really feel like he belongs because everything feels a bit new and a bit different but you have to see if by the end of the story you think that Oliver does feel a bit more like he belongs. Oliver had just moved to the big city. It felt strange and his old home in the countryside seemed far, far away. I miss the green fields, Oliver sighed. I miss the wide open spaces. And most of all, I miss my friends. One morning, Oliver felt restless. Even though the rain was pouring down like silver needles, he wanted to be outside to explore. People hurried by, unseeing and unlooking. Oliver glanced about, wondering which way to go, when suddenly he saw it. It was bright as a poppy in a cornfield. It's just there on the edge. It was a small, soggy, white ball of a dog, trailing a streak of red lead. And he was all alone, just like Oliver. Hello, said Oliver. Are you lost? He looked at the little dog's collar tag. Patch, it read. Just Patch. Oliver looked around. No one was calling for their little lost dog. What shall I do with you? Oliver said to Patch. I can't leave you on your own. But before he knew it, Oliver had the lead in his hand and Patch was trotting along beside him. Oliver and Patch had a wonderful day getting to know each other. For the first time since moving to the city, Oliver felt happy. But as dusk fell, Patch became sad. Oliver's, he sat on Oliver's desk by the window and he gazed out longingly. Somewhere out there, in the rain-hazy twinkle of the city night lights, was Patch's real home. Oliver woke the next morning to scratchy, scuffling noises. Oh, Patch, Oliver laughed. They played all day long. They played hide-and-seek. They played Tickle Tummy, they played Bury the Biscuits, they watered the garden, they played Curl Up and Cuddle, which was their favourite. But at bedtime, Patch seemed sad again, and even though it made him feel wobbly, Oliver knew he had to do the right thing. So the next day he made some posters. He secretly hoped no one would see them. Found a small white dog called Patch, likes chewing cushions, loves anything the colour red, does somersaults. He stuck the posters up and he asked at some shops and houses. No, nope, never seen that dog before, the shopkeeper said. No one I know is missing a dog, said the neighbours. Day slipped by and nobody called. Oliver began to believe that Patch would be his dog forever. He bought him a cosy red blanket and a lot of toys. It was as if, it, it was as if they had always been friends. One morning, it was gently drizzling. Oliver and Patch went exploring. They wandered down a narrow street, past tall iron railings by an ancient church. Suddenly, Patch barked. He tugged hard on the lead and broke free. Patch, Oliver called. Patch! Breathless, Oliver reached a tiny park, hidden away like a jewel. A girl was sitting on the swings, sad and alone. Oliver looked at her red coat and her red boots and he knew. The 
little girl with hugging Patch, hugging and hugging. Oliver tried to be brave, but his world had turned grey again. Hello, I'm Ruby, said the girl smiling at Oliver. Have you been looking after Patch for me? It's been so lovely, said Oliver, trying hard to smile back, but I'm really going to miss him. Then he had a thought. Ruby, do you think maybe you and Patch would like to visit me one day? We'd love to, said Ruby, but why don't we go and do something together right now? Woof, barked Patch. Woof, woof. Oliver and Ruby laughed. At that moment, the sun burst out. The pavement shone as a million raindrops glistened like gold. The city looked beautiful. And Oliver realised he hadn't lost a friend. He had found another one. And at the end that you can see, there's Ruby and Oliver and Patch all having a giant ice cream together. Okay, thanks for watching this video, Kingfisher class. I'm really looking forward to meeting you in September and I hope you have a really good summer holidays. Okay, take care. Bye.